Well, Governor Asa Hutchison says vaccinations are making a huge difference in our fight against COVID-19. Let's take a look at our numbers. 264 new cases of the virus reported today. That's the lowest that we've seen in this week. Our hospitalizations are back down again. 245 people fighting the virus from a hospital. 15 fewer than yesterday. And our daily deaths down as well. Eight COVID related fatalities reported in the last 24 hours. That's the lowest non weekend jump since the beginning of the month. Let's move to the vaccination screen there as the state received another 31,000 doses of vaccine today and administered 19,000 since yesterday. I'm one of those 19,000. That brings our total of number of fully vaccinated Arkansans, though, up to 315,000 people. Meanwhile, Governor Hutchison has activated 20 National Guard members to help with the state's vaccination efforts. They'll be stationed at four regional public health units with a focus on rural areas. The governor says this will help lighten the load for the medical professionals in those places who are still busy dealing with the virus and other health care concerns. If you don't have an appointment to get a vaccine, you can stop at the Goodwill Excel Center in Little Rock tomorrow. It's a partnership with the Baptist Health. They'll be giving out hundreds of doses for anyone in phase 1A, 1B or 1C. They will start for the public at 9 o'clock and go till 4 and it's first come first serve. So until uh, until they run out, but um, they're targeting having a thousand a thousand vaccines here. The Goodwill Excel Center is located on Scott Hamilton Drive. If you do show up, you'll need that second dose, of course, and that appointment will already be scheduled for you on April 9th at that same location. Well, plans for this year's high school proms have been up in the air for months, but since Governor Hutchison made the announcement about loosening up on COVID-19 restrictions, many school districts immediately decided to move forward with their dances. THV 11's Jordan Howington explains. Administrators here at Pulaski County Special School District have worked over the past two weeks to come up with a safe prom plan. We felt comfortable in making these decisions. PCSSD juniors and seniors will have a prom. It's one district among several in central Arkansas moving forward with the event that was abruptly canceled last year when the pandemic hit. To be able to give something back to these students who have been through so much this year, that, that sense of Normalcy without fully being normal was so important to us. And now prom dress shops are suddenly swarmed. We were so excited. Buffy's all the rage isn't complaining though. After being closed for eight months, taking a hard financial hit and not knowing if they'd be able to bounce back. This is my 20th year anniversary of being in business. I feel like if it would have hit me any sooner, we wouldn't have survived. Over 600 dresses left without love and nothing to fall back on. But since Governor Hutchinson's announcement on loosened restrictions, dress sales took off. Literally that afternoon, okay. the appointment started. So we still continue to go by COVID guidelines um, and we still are by appointment only. Jessica Duff with PCSSD says ultimately the district's decline in their own number of COVID-19 cases played a role in their decision to host its annual prom. Looking at our cases that um, have been reported through the ADH website, uh, we're doing significantly better than we anticipated. In Little Rock, Jordan Howington, THV 11 News. Thank you, Jordan. Now, your school's plans may vary, so check with the administrators there. Same goes for PCSSD. Talk to your school principals for their details. But remember, no matter where they are or when they get held, students will be required to wear a mask.